morning guys welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi my name is CJ and you're joining with me today for another walking around video I've got a, a 2017 a Kia Cerato sedan model <coughs> this is the car that we are gonna have a look around today it's a 2017 Kia Cerato sedan um, for the model so this particular car has got a two, li um, two liter four cylinder engine also in this video we're just going to have a look around um, of the condition report which is exterior interior as well as some of the key features so it's a bit of a rainy day good weather you can see it um uh, without further ado let's jump in have a look guys from exterior wise what it looks like so on the body it is a white color paint you'll have a closer look whether it has got any any damages or what sort of condition it is so so far looking good and that is your um, front headlamps all right coming to the front bumper guys you do have your front parking sensors as well on this car and this is your tow points also a, um, a fog lamp on the front bumper at the front of the car on the center grill right about that you have got your iconic Kia logo let's come around looking really clean so far also have got genuine 17 inch alloy wheels um Kia alloy wheels on this car as well I'm gonna get a, get them closer um we're gonna have a closer look of these alloy wheels in a minute at the moment I'm just gonna take you around have a look what it is look like on the body on the paintwork so coming around pretty clean hard to see any damages or any scratches or anything you have your side mirrors with the integrated in, um, uh, indicators as well let's have a look looks pretty good so far all right that's the rear of the car so at the back of the car you can see again you have your iconic Kia, Kia badge there underneath you have your rear parking camera or rear view camera Serato Sport badge there also you have got your rear parking sensors on the rear bumper um, also we'll be looking at the cargo area of this car um, later on this video as well sports spoiler or the lip mounted to the boot lid also has got a sharp pin antenna at the back of the roof all right looks very clean guys it's really hard to um, see whether there are any damages at all to be honest paintwork wise on the body outside it's at, <coughs> it's kept at this best condition absolutely so far given the fact it is a used car all right let's have a look what does what it has looked like um, this 17 inch alloy wheels now they're two-tone colors you can see a chrome and a bit of a, um, a matte uh, like a tinted color um, mixture on the um, alloy wheels so in this particular alloy wheel there are a few scuffs around it nothing major but beside that everything else looks pretty good coming to the next one also have got a few scuff marks Most of the used cars are, um, they do get a lot of scuffs on um, the alloy wheels, really like deeper um, scuffs than what I've showed you so far. But for this particular car, they look really minor. Now, this is a very clean alloy wheel, guys. This is from the driver's side rear. Really, um, really well looked after. You cannot see anything or there are no damages or no scuffs on that. <coughs> That's the very last alloy wheel on the driver's side front. Minor scuff marks, really hard to see unless you're close to the car. All right, beautiful. So, so far, um, exterior wise, um, I could say um, it is at a great condition. <coughs> it's, <coughs> excuse me. It's been well looked after. Um, hardly see any major, major cosmetic damages 
oily scratchy sores, scuff marks beside those minor bits that I've pointed out. All right, so what we'll do, let's jump in, have a look what this car has to offer interior wise. So you get the leather look and vinyl finish on the doors and chrome um, door handle right there. Inside, the leather look finish on the seating. Also, a uh, very sports kind of look design um, seats as well. Let's jump in. Have a feel of this car. Beautiful. Now, has got a beautiful, like a layered finish on the dashboard. Again, a vinyl finish, leather look vinyl finish. And on top of, um, coming to the center of the um, dashboard, you can see you have your center display, which will allow you to access um, all your phone, uh, phone apps when it's connected, or the built-in apps, the maps, the navigator, and um, the um, stereo in this particular car as well. Underneath that, you have your climate control knobs for your climate zone. So, that is a roller top cover. So, underneath this, there's a bit of a storage space there. Also, two 12 volt power sockets and an AUX and a USB cable port. That's for your parking assets. If you do not want that to keep alerting and if you um, if you do not use that all the time, you can just turn that off. That's the drive mode button, so which will allow you to have different drive modes, and that's your standard gear knob. Beside that, you have got two cup holders or two bottle holders there, and a center console with two layers. Seats are super comfortable or comfortable. Also, while you're sitting in this, um, in those seats at the front, as the, as the front passenger, you get a really, really nice view um, through these big windows as well. One nice thing would have had been, obviously not today, I would feel it, but if it is, if it would have had been a um, warmer day, <clears throat> if this particular car had um, tint on the windows, that would have had kept um, the car cooler inside. So we do have a tin product that we do recommend our customers which um, which has got 99% UV protection also 65% heat reduction which gives you a lot of safety and privacy as well and aesthetically it looks pretty good. So just gonna jump in <coughs> at the back of this car as well so second second row seating. Seat is actually being like pushed all the way back even while being at this um the front seat at the uh as it's the longer stretch i can still fit here comfortably sit here comfortably with no issue at all all right so condition of the seats or the interior so far looks pretty great inside of this car you have got a show um shared armrest with two cup holders or bottle holders as well <clears throat> and the 60 40 split right in the middle one important thing if you are a pair <clears throat> if you are a parent and if you are the driver or which you are the owner of this car <clears throat> if you have children who need um, booster seats or ch um, the child seats you do have ISO fix also if I show you you do have anchor points behind each headrest as well so three of them all right so the condition and the convenience options that you're going to get in this car is enormous so far let's have a look of the boot space or the cargo space now prior i'll give you another look at it the design of it the sportier design of it looks pretty great so what i'll do Check whether I can. Yep. All right. So you have to have the remote. I'll just what I'll do. Pop this down. That'd be much more easy and convenient. Beautiful. All right. <clears throat> now that's a deep boot space for a sedan. Um, a usual sedan, guys. So 
you can see you do have your genuine Serato carpet mat sit at the back of this car as well. Underneath, you have actually a full size um, 17 inch um, spare wheel, the same alloy wheel that you're gonna get uh, with this car as well, which is pretty great. Look how deep this boat goes. So that's pretty great breathe space um, for a mid-size sedan, I could say. So that is your cargo area in this particular car. Beautiful. Let's pop this down. Let's jump in and have a look, guys, what this car has to offer when you are the driver or when you're driving this car, what sort of options and features you'll get. Right. On your um, driver's side door handle, you get your power window buttons, central locking, and the um, mirror adjusters right there. <coughs> Beautiful. So, just going to start her up. With the modern tech, you can see on the um, analog speedometer and RPM meter, right in the middle, you get your um, trip computer. So, as I press that button, you can see different setups or the service view. Um, if I go, nope. All right, I see your direction keys. So can see all those options um, and right here you do have your um, stereo audio um, audio controlling key now that is your multifunctional steering wheel now on this multifunctional steering wheel on your right hand side you'll get your cruise control setup also your trip computer um, options button you can see as I was pressing earlier and that's your direction key if you want to go down and then this is the back key for that on your left hand side on the multifunctional steering wheel you do have as i said your audio controlling key so if you want to mute it or the mode and you can put your volume up and down put the volume down again and then uh direction keys or the seek button phone answering and phone hung up also your standard headlamps and your indicators standard wiper key uh wiper controller gonna focus on the center um display now what we'll do we'll go all right okay beautiful so those that's your home setup that you'd get so if you select your phone obviously when your phone is connected it's not connected at the minute it'll just let you um, access your phone through there now go back home your media so you can use a usb or um, usb hard drive or your bluetooth your audio an ipod also um the aux connectivity which is pretty great and then you have your standard stereo you can actually just drag that that's pretty cool i i have not seen that option in many of the cars you actually can just drag it down on the touch display on this particular car to the station that you prefer last thing a lot of people would like this option this is the inbuilt navigator so <coughs> there you go so that is a convenient option if you um, if you if you're out of your mobile data that you can't access your Google Maps you do have your inbuilt navigator as well and then one other convenient um, one of the safety and convenient option that you get is uh, the reverse camera um, for your reverse parking and reverse park assist beautiful pop the key back also I forgot to mention earlier do you have a sunglass holder there as well all right so <clears throat> just gonna turn the car off now that's mainly the condition report of the car you can see the interior and exterior it's an absolute gorgeous in this car um, it's, it's only four years old but it's actually being well looked after um, and just there's you could barely see um, there are any cosmetic damages on the body or in the interior so 
if you are interested in this particular car guys i wouldn't wait too long if i were you grab grab your phone just dial this number that's us Derek mitsubishi it's double nine or seven or triple five also if you want to pop in at our dealership please come through we are located at 20 to 32 on Kangan drive in berwick myself or any of my team members will be thrilled absolutely thrilled to help you out to be assistant um to assist you to find that next perfect car you're looking for also if you're looking for um finance options as well when you put when you plan to purchase your next car we do have in-house finance which is easy fast and convenient so don't wait too long guys come through to our um our um dealership on um at um 20 to 32 on kangan drive in barrack or dial um give us a call on double nine or seven or triple five so that's it for the 2017 kia serato sports um sedan i'll catch you in the next video